shopping caddies Knowing that car belongs to your daddy Pumping the volume up in the speakers Where they blow, your pop's gonna beat your butt Your out of gas is still rolling Cause your mind, these girls are controlling We should go around my way And just like it's and you say, okay You should've known you wasn't gonna make it Go for a tow truck, somebody takes it Now you're stuck way out in Brooklyn You're in deep the way things are looking You can't get home cause you live too far Your cash and ID was back in the car Now you wish you had driven your duster But it's too late, you've been had by a hustler Suckers be trying to play like the big shots Flashing cash you ain't even got Playing the role like a big drug dan Knowing the cash goes straight to the boss man The only cash you got is top bear Other than that, not a dime to spare Do you have when you stand on the ab? It makes me wanna laugh Always talking about the way you're packing a gun Everybody knows you're just acting Some of your buddies that you call a posse Be plotting and scheming to get them some scotty They know you talk much crap and you're full of it And when you do have a gun, there's no bullets So try to front on me, buster Cause you're nothing, you're just a small time hustler Welcome to another episode of The Stupid Show. I am your host, Brandon Irizarry, and today we have a wonderful show lined up for you. Um, as always, we got my uh, good friend. Set me up. Jerry. G. In. I have no idea. The place to be, man. It's, oh, you mean it's me, Jerry G. Come on. It's the place to be. You changed my mind. I'm going show over right now. You can <laughs> with it. Oh, man. Gave me a new catchphrase. It's okay. And we got a new face on the show tonight, um, Valentina. I love that name, by the way. Thank you very much. Beautiful name. Thank you. Um, welcome to the show. I'm glad to be and here. As always, I go around the room and I have to ask, what'd you do this weekend, brother? Do you know anything I can remember doing was eating about 30 buffalo wings at Outback. With, uh, Graham Wellington was actually there. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> he survived. He would be eating wings. He's, 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 a, he's like a beast. He's a machine. He did run out of there fast, though, so I, I'm pretty sure like the bathroom and him, he became like best friends right he, after that. He's had ass troubles, that guy. <laughs> he really has. He's constantly like, it's either farting, it's, it's every, you know, the, the convo is always like bathroom talk. Bathroom talk, or maybe he's on some sort of boat somewhere. Who knows? You ever go, um, obviously, I mean, we all had to, you know, girls obviously are always in the stalls, so you may re be able to relate to this. But, um, you know, like, you have to go. I, I, I think it's totally illegal to have to go to the bathroom outside of the house. I'm like, I'm like a homing pigeon. If I have to go, I go right to my house. I can't, there's no public, nothing. When I was in high school, I used to leave the school just to go home. Didn't care if I got detention or whatever. I used I to, to wait go. until I had to go home. But, <clears throat> talking about that, like, you ever go into, like, to the bathroom, you're in, like, you know, like, the stall? And you, you know you're doing doing your business, and you're sitting there, and the guy, you know, people come in and out. You're like freaking out. You're like, oh man, get the fuck out already. <laughs> you don't want him to like smell what the hell's going or on. Or hear. Like, you don't yeah. want him to hear it. You, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, you're like you're waiting because you don't want it, like the, the explosion, right? So you're waiting, and then the guy goes, and he's um, you know, you're like waiting for the guy <laughs> to get out, and you're like, fuck, you know. You can smell like a methane gas leak going on in, your, in the bathroom stall. You're like, it's any minute, it's going to hit the people outside of your stall. It's going to blow. It's going to blow. <laughs> yeah, so you're there, And as you're waiting, that little crack, that opening mm -hmm. where the door meets like... And then uh, you make eye contact. The guy washes his hands in the mirror, and he looks through the mirror, and it hit, banks off, and you made the eye contact. You, he saw you, like you guys made eye contact while you're shitting. There's nothing more violating than that. I'll tell you something more violating than that. Have you ever been to a, a place called Hexer Park, Addies? Yes. 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 We yes. used to have our family reunions there all the time. And we used to um, we had we used to bring the super soakers. Remember those giant guns back in like the nineties that were really popular during the summer? So me and my cousin, we were going in um, into the bathroom to fill up the guns, and I'm like, okay, I gotta pee. So I open the stall, the toilet's here, and I'm looking above, I'm like, what the hell is that? I want to say a few, like three or four feet, oh, three or four feet above that, there is shit all over the walls. Are you still so mic good? What happened? The mic just fell. Got a little connect, excited. Connect, connect, connect. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the story while I'm doing this. All right. Oops. Technical difficulties. Would you flex it off of your neck? Who does that? The thing attaches know, to your shirt. Must be the pet cat. He's like, yeah, and then all of a sudden. Like, I think he just took a breath and it popped yeah. off. So I get out of the stall because I was about to throw up. 
And then I look and I'm like, why are you throwing up in the stall in the first place? Because of what the shit on the walls in this all over oh, the place. Oh, the shit on the wall. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, why, why is there so much shit like four feet above the toilet? People are savages. So, that's why. I'll tell you what it was. The kid must have been six or seven years old. Two giant logs in his hands. He was chasing after someone like he was about to stab them with kitchen knives. No way. Yeah. That's disgusting. Wait, shit. Yeah, this kid. It was there was these family of kids running around tra chasing each other with shit in their hands. That's disgusting. It oh. was. One of the most, I, I still have visuals of that till this day. Throw up. Oh my goodness. It was the worst Those, smelling thing I've ever seen. These public in the bathrooms are, oh. are totally, I mean, a lot of them. I mean, I haven't seen a public bathroom that <laughs> hasn't been like. Especially old. when I see someone come and, you know, go in and out of a public bathroom or even like a restroom at school. Now, like, I, you know, I, I go to college, you go to Stony Brook University, and there are plenty and pl plenty and plenty of people who just walk in and out. No F's given about washing their hands. Now, I'm not saying washing your hands is going to get rid of everything. Right. But it's the same student that I see using the restroom. They go oh, back to the a, classroom. And they're violator. biting their fingernails. And they're oh, touching everything. And they're trying to, you know. And, and, and you're, you're in a medical lab. You know, you're doing blood, you know, blood labs and urine labs and things like that. You're in a classroom learning about hygienics and, you know, how to prevent contamination. And then you have these kids and they're biting their nails. Most of the, most fecal matter it's under your fingernails. Oh, God. And if people only oh, realize boy. that, yes. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't touch your face, Jerry. Just make sure you remember that guy's name so you can check him out in a couple of years after he graduates to make sure you don't go to that doctor's It's office. more than just one. What oh, about God. bathroom conversations? Like, are you a fan of talking on your cell phone while you're on the stall? I do it all the time. I put I my headphones to. in. I hate it. Like, I'll be there <laughs> taking an innocent shit, and, like, I hear this guy whisper on the phone, hey, girl, you're just going to let the... Soap slide down your back to your ass crack. Like, what the fuck are you doing talking like this in the fucking stall? <laughs> Wait, did this guy having like talk with his girlfriend? He's having like, he's like a sexual bathroom? conversation with his girl while he's taking a shit. Where do you go to the bathroom? I heard someone paying a bill <laughs> over the phone. <laughs> this, I was just in a public restroom. Jerry G, where do you go to the bathroom? This is just in a public. I, has, this is like a restaurant people, or something. I don't remember at the time, but people running around with knife logs, <laughs> but knife logs, knife logs, okay, uh, running around to attack each other, having sex and then, talks, and then the guy's having having sexual conversation in the stall next to him um, with his girlfriend, talking about soap sliding down the back. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck is this? You ever, you ever, um, you ever like you know, you're driving like on the parkway. It's usually on the parkway because it, it, you need you need that when you're cruising. You're like doing like sixty and you're on the parkway. Sixty. Well, <laughs> um, um, I I follow the law. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Who follows the law? So you know you're on you're on the um, you're on the LIE. You're driving and then you have like the guys like in a van or in a truck, and they're, they're cruising. And you look down and you look into like your car. Mm -hmm. and it's almost like they're like scanning the whole inside of your car. Like you feel like. Their head just came into your car and like looked around. Especially if it's a female sitting in the passenger seat. Yeah, that's the worst. And that's then, then you can literally see in your car. You can see the floor of your car, the back seat, and everything. It's like Up you can your see skirt, the sandwich. Down your shirt. Yeah. The that sandwich actually, on the floor. You feel like they're judging uh, 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 you as they're driving by. Like, oh, this guy needs to clean his car. You know. I'll tell you a quick story about yeah, it's that. So weird. That's weird. Uh, I want to say I was like 21, 22 at the time, and I actually happened to be scammed by. It was one of those police trucks that you see like on the southern <laughs> state. You know, like the expeditions or whatever the hell they are. Right, right. And I just happened. Oh God, I don't give a shit. I just happened to be getting roadhead at the time. Oh God. The cop looks and I look. I'm like, oh fuck, I'm about to get pulled over. He gave me a thumb up and just sped off. Wow. I was, I was like, I'm about to have a heart attack. I almost, I forgot the girl was down there for a second. Oh my God. Because the cop was just there watching the whole damn thing. Oh, that's 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 an awkward moment. It was. That's an awkward moment. Definitely one of my top five awkward moments in my life. What is, all right, because I know we originally started this, and I, like always, we go into bathroom talk. We talk about taking dumps and crazy stuff as usual. Oh. What is the most awkward moment or awkward moments that happened to all of us? You know, something that we could all relate to. You have any that, that you can think of? Um... I'm not really, like, a bar-type person. Like, I don't go out and drink and stuff like that. But I went out to uh, the Nutty Irishman one time for one of my friend's birthday parties. There's one in she my was town. Having. And uh, there was, mm. you know, a remotely attractive man there, or so I thought, you yeah. know. And uh, he just kept offering to buy me a drink. Now, I kept saying, no, thank you. I'm not, I'm not interested. Thank you anyway. Now, I, I suppose this person had had thousands of dollars worth of like plastic surgery done and everything like that. It turns out it was a woman. Tran transgender ah! woman. Buying you drinks? Trying to buy me drinks, yes. And hey, that's the best of both worlds. It, it, 
That's that. Okay, that's all you. That's all you. No but, for me. You know, I don't have a problem with anything like that, but that was something. That, wow. That, that was some shit because I was just I. I that's was out of my element already. That, yeah, that's definitely it wasn't even like it was a man trying to buy me a drink. It was a woman with right. everything that, you know what I mean? Just, Mr. Oh, Garrison. Just, just really weird. God. I don't have a problem with that, but like, you know, that, no. that, that, that was pretty awkward. Yeah, that's definitely um, an awkward moment. That was a Mrs. Doubtfire moment right there, for I, sure. I think, I think this, prob this would probably be the best one, though. Not even really awkward, probably more like rad, but not something you would necessarily see. One of my physics professors at Stony Brook, I actually caught him smoking a blunt out in his car. Right. Right near the H quad. And uh, he saw me looking at him, and I just went like this. And, <laughs> and my professor was like, of course, he's like all giggles and shits, and he's like, he's, he's just smoking, smoking a straight blunt. Now, you know, I, I, I was totally like, you know, just, just do your thing. But... You know, you. I don't think what my. Is, I don't think a, a teacher a would expect a student to. Teachers allowed to 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 have. You no, have to do that? you're not supposed to have anything like that on on campus. You know, weed, drugs, alcohol, really nothing like that. But obviously, every, you know, everyone does it. Wow. But I mean, you know, for to see to to catch your teacher doing something like that. You know, like you're a little kid and your teacher always like, you know, don't do drugs, kids, and don't oh, smoke. And what? then you see your physics <laughs> professors doing it. That was actually kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah, but, teachers that's get away with yeah. some stuff. Yeah, he, th that's his awkward moment. The, uh, the eye contact, though, that was like, <laughs> what are you doing there? That's funny. That but, actually transitions into uh, one of my awkward moments involved the teacher and what I witnessed. In uh, 12th grade after uh, school, we would go to like the weight room, and uh, the gym teacher was there always helping people out. And it's one that, like the teacher's looking down some kid's mouth. I'm like, what the hell's going on? This, this guy in school, he got a brand new tongue ring, and the gym teacher looks at him straight in the face, and he goes, don't tell me you're going to start sucking dick now. The teacher said that to the student, and it got so quiet in the weight room, everyone was watching, you could hear pin drops. But then when the student and the gym teacher, they, they started hugging and laughing. Everyone just bursted out freaking laughing about that thing. Oh, my God. It was just because they were actually pretty close because they were, um, I think, part of the football team together. So it was, they, they had that kind of relationship where they could joke with each other. Right, Nowadays, right. a teacher says that, and it's all over the news and his lawsuits. Oh, boy. Forget That's about craziness. it. That's um, craziness. I want to go to a, uh, a quick commercial. Right. Let's go to a quick commercial break. And when we come back, um, I got uh, our, one of our, our other guests, uh, Consuelo. Will be, Did she uh, just get back from Chipotle? I, we're going to find out. Uh-oh. All right, let's go to a commercial. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. 
Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. If you find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. What do you do? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. <laughs> For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Welcome back to the Stupid Show, and uh, like I said before, we have our addition, Consuelo. Hi. Glad to have you. Thank you. What's going on? What happened? You got a little lost? I did. You know, well, you drove me last week. But you get lost all the time on the show. Well, no, the first, yeah, well, you know, I took the sunrise. The first time, wait, the first time you, you were. The, the first time I drove myself into the middle of the ocean, backed up, backtracked, and got here. Right, right. Then you <laughs> drove me. Right. And now I drove myself. And it's like eight miles. And you got the car fixed? You had Did car I? problems. I, yeah, I'm having car problems. Yeah. Still? Yeah. You said the car was like making noise, like yeah, metal grinding. Yeah, the car, and it has a mind of its own. So you took that car here? It's working? Yeah, I oh, took good. it here. Good, it's good, working, good. sort of. Uh, uh? Keep driving it while it's uh? grinding metal parts. Yeah. So I don't think that's too good. Nah. Yeah. Well, your oh, sound no. bounced off too? What happened today? These things are my, like uh, lubricated or my, something. My chest is eating my microphone. Oh, Sorry. Look at that. Outstanding. It's not really. I wish it were. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, J okay. Jerry's like, uh, shoots so I'm like trying to crush it, but. <laughs> so what's going on? What, what's, uh, what's up with Consuelo? What did you uh, do this week? Well, I, I was just explaining my dilemma oh, the, with the, with the, the Big, Big Mac. Macs being a... Uh, my last meal, apparently, those buy one get one free Big Macs at McDonald's. That's are killer. killer. Yeah. Can't say no to that. And you, no. you put two down? Or one I put and a one half? and a half, and then I wasn't satisfied, so I had to go back and get the chicken selects and fries, and then I ate the chicken selects. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That's like eating. Uh, that's like your last meal before you go to the electric chair. I, I. That's what I was expecting. Isn't that what we're doing on the show today? What's that? I thought we were getting electric shocks today. Uh, oh, oh no. we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a question. I didn't and get answer. the memo. Yeah, well, thank God, right? I was prepared just in case. <laughs> we're gonna do what we're gonna. We'll probably do it on the next show. We're gonna do a question, question and answer, and um, what a great. We're gonna get the remote control dog collars that they use to train the dogs by elect, you know, electric shock. I always mm -hmm. wanted to do that. And then everybody's gonna wear one of those collars, and you're gonna ask a bunch of questions, and you know, hopefully you get them right. I'll make sure I'm there for that. And we're also gonna do a version of that with Twister too, sometime. Yeah, we gotta do the, the, the electric. Twister. Uh, electric I always wanted twister. to do a uh, messy Twister. With paint, with the paint. Ooh, they probably won't let us. They won't let us do like that finger, on the set. We can do that out. Yeah. We can do that offset. We can film that during the week. We could do something. We could do stuff oh, offset. Oh, that'd be fun. Or bed yeah. twister. Oh yes. Do bed, 
They what actually they actually make bed sheets with twi with the game Twister on it, like you would play Naked Twister. But that's right. that's actually something that. You're yeah. not gonna want to do that with the cast of this show. No, no. 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 <laughs> hey, hey, I can find out yourself. Okay, some of us are remotely attractive here. I like to watch it. This. <laughs> I'll be like the perv watching it. I'm like, all right, 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 right yo. Like, <laughs> you know, my bed has a has a really cool feature. Wow. Uh, what? You it's silence. <laughs> oh, Walk with what silence. Yeah, it's an eject button. An eject. An eject button. <laughs> Ejecto cedo. It's yeah. like a, like a um one of those um like, well, well, hand dags really that like, propels you. You see when they do that to Sorry. the hand dig print. I have you know what I I was looking up today. I was looking for videos because. Every week I, I play some video clips. And uh, I found some videos on Guido's. Oh, no. Guido's is, I don't know why I looked up Jersey Shore. Saddest Store. topic. Saddest topic. It's so bad. I looked up, uh, I, I typed in Guido. Oh, no. Don't ask me why. Because I, I, I think I downloaded a couple of songs, like Play at Your Own Risk, and it just made me think like Guido days. Strong Island. And I typed in Guido, and the, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. the videos that came up were hysterical. I got, um, I have the... Um, the Paul deal like can, you know, it look like, you know, the tanning fails with the, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Orange. Orange. Exactly. Literally. Like Oompa Loompas. And then I have the um, the regular, you know, the Guido dance, but I don't know what happened while I was rushing around to try and get it loaded. I didn't put the Guido dance on there. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but that one, I'm going to have to, I'm going to play it on the next show for sure. It, that one was really good. And um, I'm, I'm actually a little pissed because I, I spent a lot of time on the, on the Guido dance video. I cut all the, you know, I got all, like, the best ones. That was really good. But I have the tanning one. You want to go to the tanning? Uh, Let's see anybody it. Have any, anybody do any spray tanning? Or? I've done it. I, I know. Once. I actually know how to do it on, on people. I used to work you in just, a tanning salon. Oh, yeah. really? And what about, yeah, I know, you, you know. The picture you of me having the out. intro on top of the car, I was spray tan for that. You did look it, spray tanned on that one, actually. Yeah. It was, it was at a BMW meet you know, that they had uh, called Beamer Fest in September. I'm sorry, Beamer Stock in September. Right. And it was just like, like a I challenge. Got a, I got a tan for this one. It was like, Jerry's got a spray tan and just be completely dark, take, standing on top of everyone's cars taking pictures. So that's what we used to do. It's actually the, probably the best way to make your teeth look really white is to get a really dark spray tan. Mm -hmm. It worked. There you go. I'm not, a, I'm not a real fan. You know, I, I hate to say this, especially, you know, I don't want to, like, publicize this, you know? Uh-oh. But well, I, I really did, like, you know, like, that UV tan, or, you know, nothing beats that UV tan except for... You know, it upping your chances of getting skin cancer by like what, like a whopping seventy percent. Do you go? No, 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 I don't. I I did the spray tan once, and I I like to have. You know, I was like, cool, I have the tan, but I did not like the act, like the not realness of the tan. I, I have to do some type of tanning something during the winter, otherwise I look like. You look like Will. You look like look, a ghost. I look like yeah. I look like Will. I look like Nosferatu. I have to do it. <laughs> it's funny because Chinese, Chinese ever. like people in China, especially women, they actually they do not want any ounce of any type of sun on their bodies. They actually walk around in the summer with like parasols. They they'll actually people in China specifically use bleaching cream to make their skin more white. While we go out of our way and pay exorbitant amounts of money to just go get a tan. Right. Some of these places they'll charge you two hundred and fifty dollars for three months, unlimited tanning. I mean. Just wait for the summer. No, no, I hear you on that. So, but there are some people that just definitely overdo it. We, we've all seen it. Oh, we've they have out. turtle skin. We, we, I know people that go tanning twice a day. Even if you go to the, you know, in the summertime, you go to the beach during the summer and you see the people tanning and they're already dark. It's like almost like, go home. What the fuck are you doing? What are you you doing don't know here? how much more skin, that, you know, how much more yeah, light there is. How much darker are you going to get? You're already <laughs> like, you, you're... You know, like black already. You're like, you and then know, they look when they're in their twenties. Like, they look like the they're darkest in their 40s. level it's going to get, and they're still laying there, oiled up, getting more sun. The best. Like, what are you trying to do? The best is when they're laying on the beach, smoking a cigarette like this, uh, <laughs> and their skin is like sagging down their uh, chest, and yeah. you can like, oh. you can like make a new body suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like leather. The skin yeah. starts to look like leather. They look like yeah. the the like a leather back Mary. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we got a quick call. Let's go to the phones. Well, we got phone lines open already. I didn't even know. Oh, <laughs> damn. Listen to that. All right, Jerry G. What's up? You're on live with the Stupid Show. Who do we got? Hi, this is my girl. Am I the 100th caller? You are. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. You guys are so sexy. I just want to smack my penis against your head. 
you gotta see how oh you gotta see how, you gotta see how excited Jerry G is right now. He's all smiles for you. I almost went six oh to midnight God, right look at there. That black shirt so tight. <laughs> he loves Baby Gap. I really do. Oh my god, do you shop at Baby Gap? So do I. Oh my god, we're like twins. Oh my god, I thought we were the other with a half off sale. You guys gotta exchange numbers. She looks like she wants to punch you in the face. Do you want to punch him in the face, little pink girl, sir? Little pink girl. Come punch. on, you can do it. You can punch him. That's Valentina. Give him a punch. On. Do it. Do it. No, it's okay. <laughs> Come on, do it. Nah, I, got, I got all the girls in my gym beat the shit out of me every day, so it's okay. enough of that. Just punch him. She's a kitty. She's him. Come on, grab those. <laughs> Boom. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's hit slap. There you go. Ooh. You guys are so great. Oh, what, what's, what's your name? My name is Raul. You call me Sparkles. And where are you Sparkles. from? Sparkles! <laughs> you don't know. Oh, my God. I'm from Riverhead. Riverhead. Sparkles from Riverhead. So good. I want to swim in the waters. Mm. Wait, what did you say? Say I, that again? I said I'm from Riverhead. I like to give head. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I can't believe I answered. Water in the river. I can't even believe it just said. What did you say again? I think Sparkles right, well, has been Sparkles, to Sparkles, thanks for the call. Continue watching hey, the welcome, show. You're welcome, sweetie. I'll see you later. Thank thanks. you. Thanks. All right, that was Sparkles from Rivet. That was Sparkles. <laughs> Sounds like one of your buddies. I don't know. I don't know any Sounds Sparkles. Sounds like he sparkles really well. <laughs> um, I want to go to the, uh, you know, that clip that I was talking about with the tanning. Because, you know, a lot of the, I wanted to do the whole Guido theme on this show. And I, I screwed up with the uh, loading up one of the uh, videos I wanted to do with the Guido dancing. Oh. It really sucks. I'm pissed right You're going to have to show us. Next week, I just got. I got got one of. No, you have to like get up and show us so we know what the. I'm not doing a fist pounding. Really? Pounding, whatever they call that, pumping, pounding. Sparkles will like that. Have you ever had a situation (laughs) in your life where you had to do a fist pound? Yeah, like right now. Never. I don't think there'll ever be a time in my life. Boom. Yeah. You just guys, you guys just pounded. We just fist pounded. We just fist pounded. There you go. We just fisted. All right, so let's go to our <laughs> total fist. Let's go to uh, our video, um, the tanning video, please. Let's check that out.
even 10. <laughs> Yo, Welcome bro. back to the stupid <laughs> show. I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, video. What'd you guys think of that? Bro, do you even tan? Yeah, bro, do you exactly, even tan? Exactly, right? I, I, how bad was that? <laughs> Holy shit. I recognized one of those guys that you actually had on there. Who, who was it? Oh, uh, I don't, I can't really drop a name, but. Drop it, drop it. Drop no, it, drop no, it. Just do it. Who no, cares? No. YOLO. His name was Matt DeJury. Oh. I didn't know, oh. I didn't know him <laughs> personally, but. <laughs> Matt DeJury. He was featured on, the, on one of your pictures, so I, I think that was kind of funny. Oh my god, it's hysterical. The, the Not a Paulie D knock one. If you made that. it to yeah, this that's video, what I was, I was thinking. if you made it to that video that we just played, kill yourself. <laughs> I mean, like, that's like, that's bad. But they can't die because they probably have tanning left. They have to finish up their tanning sessions. Oh my god. I'm sure, half like, of them already got some stuff <coughs> and died off, anyways. It wasn't even, it, you know. It, you were like saying, you were saying right? like, mm. earlier when we were watching that, you were saying that you're so glad that that style is not even like in anymore. Thank god. You're so mistaken. That's I haven't still, seen it. You haven't seen the spiky Where hair? do you live? You haven't seen the tanning? You, and, you live in Massafuqua. Like. <laughs> How do you not? I mean, that's like. I, still, I guess I don't club anymore. I literally still see to this day, and this is what, this boggles my mind, because this is like literally like seeing like the dodo bird or something. I see fucking mullets. Mullets? mullets. mullets. I would rather see a mullet than that. The blowout. You look like a fucking upside down eraser. It's 2015, <laughs> and and you can what? still you can you still go to certain, certain spots, and you'll see a mullet. How can that be? Upside down. Honestly, though, it, 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 to me, That's it's whatever a per mind. person feels comfortable wearing. <laughs> I, comfortable wearing. You know what? Fire Island. Mullet. You're right. The clubs out there. And you know what's funny? They're all. You can always tell well, you, they're you all coked out. You can see like that that style with the, with mm -hmm. the hair, the Guido look. That's a lot in. Um, but the headband? Yeah. What's with the fucking headband? The headband. Yep. That's a lot. In, you go the to the fake watch in the summer. I remember, I remember like a few years back. I don't know if Neptune's is still open. I, I'm out of the loop. But they shut it down. And a bunch of people committed suicide. I went to Neptune's. Thank you Together for that. Together at Neptune's? No, they committed suicide because it was no longer a club to go to. Oh. oh, oh that's so it was Probably. the shutting down that did, that did the job. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I never even got to go to Neptune's. Now I feel like I Listen, should kill myself. I, I'm, you're Italian? What? Jersey? I'm half Italian, yeah. I'm half Italian. All right, so I'm half Italian too. In my, in my younger years, I admit, and uh -oh. I'm, not, I'm not proud, I'm not proud. It comes a confession. It was a Guido. Did you have the oh. Sonic the Hedgehog look with the headband? That's why I'm bald. I did all that shit to my hair. <laughs> yes. Like back in the day, yes, the hair products that they, that they had. It. You know, I had that, um, what was that hairspray? The, uh, it was in like in that pink, that pink hand. You wouldn't uh, know. Oh, my God. God. You know the, the stuff yeah, you're talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know. People use that on think, Halloween. I, I think they don't even sell it anymore because like, it, it like put a hole in the ozone. But whatever it was, I used to use that hairspray. <laughs> I used to use this stuff. It's like flatulence. Did yeah, you like spend this. a half hour in the bathroom getting ready? Yeah, the gel yeah, and all that stuff. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> they'll do it. And I actually, the Guido look back then, because they used to have like a tail or they used to have like, you know, that long in the back. I actually, um, you know, when I had that, that look that was actually like a technical like modified mullet really yeah no it definitely is this was. a modified mullet or is this like a modified yep, rat totally tail? no no that, <laughs> well on a girl it's not a mullet it's a femlet it's a femlet, a femlet? yeah no but that's not no you don't you have a ponytail a yes, femlet it's a femlet Hairstylist. i used to have the whole slim shady outfit back in there the bleach blonde hair the the big puffy black eyebrows the shady wear and the sean john outfits i gotta have to show you he, a he of looked like um uh, Jonah Hill, remember from oh, uh, Twenty One oh, Jump Street oh where they're doing the intro? Yeah. And he's trying to pull off the shady look. Except for my hair was neon blonde, like it would glow in the dark. And you weren't wearing braces. That's and funny. I, yeah, the braces. And <laughs> I went from like the Guido look, and then I went to like the total like hip hop look. I was wearing like eight ball jacket. I even had a gold tooth. I mean, Guys still wear that stuff. Can you imagine? They're I, like I 50. wore a fake gold tooth. When I was in high school. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I didn't wear it all the time, but I, <laughs> I, I put it on like every once in a while, and I would take it off when, when people, like, I was embarrassed. Oh I was like, <laughs> they out quick. I was like. Especially talking to your teacher. I was the kid in high school wearing all the wrestling and South Park t-shirts. I, I, I love South Park. Oh, South Park. I wore a uniform in I, high school, so I didn't have to worry about wearing gold teeth and, like, having my hair colored different, you know, colors and so stuff. So she got a good edge. You had a good. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we were gold tooth in it, and... Gold chaining it. I actually, I don't know if you, if you can tell, but we should do a survey. Um, what color are my teeth? Why? Because I'm actually, I'm, I'm wearing a blue and, blue and black teeth today. Oh. I don't know what color you see. 
They look white and gold. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, my God. Doing okay. the dress with the Not feet. the dress again. <laughs> it, was it too soon or too late for the what color oh, you, dress you, you, joke? No, I I you got to do it because we're going to totally forget about it. But, um, what yeah. color is my enamel? Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> you know what I was doing? Um, I started doing is the uh, coconut oil. I do like It's called oil pulling. Oh, um, yeah. You've heard of that? Oh, yeah, totally. On what? Your hair or your... <laughs> what hair? What hair? <laughs> I know. Do you see his that hair? Was, hair? That I, was the joke. <laughs> his hair is covered up. No, I know. Um, I, it's uh, oil oil pulling. Um, it's like swishing around in your mouth. and supposed to like the coconut oil, whatever. It's supposed to like whiten your teeth and get like all the um, toxins yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I like oil of, pulling. I, f I find it quite taxing. I mean... That and peroxide whitens your teeth too. Yeah. Or yeah. annual trip to the dentist might do the job and just brush teeth every day with scope mouthwash. But yeah, no, but no, the brushing like... the brushing works good, but you know, I drink a lot of tea. I'm not a I'm not a coffee drinker, but um you know it's Cheers. I've been you know, exactly I feel like the <laughs> peroxide is too har harsh, you're better with the, the coconut oil. Probably. All right, let's go to a commercial. We'll come back, we'll talk about um how uh, uh hygiene and all that other good stuff. Hygiene. Or lack thereof. <laughs> or oh. lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's go to a commercial. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. Hi, I'm Tom Bealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. Let our creativity work for you. We design business cards, brochures, annual reports, newsletters and magazines, menus and programs, flyers and mailers, signs and posters and more. We also do voiceovers. First impressions matter. Make yours count with an expressive voice artist. Distinctive, warm, soothing, natural delivery that can add believability and appeal to any audio project. Contact us to discuss how we can make your project a success. Sierra Graphics. That's info at sierragraphics.com. Welcome back to the Stupid Show. Um, we, when we were, uh, before we went back to commercial, we were just talking about 
hygiene or the lack of it. Yes. There was a guy that was on the show, Ron, uh, Ronnie B. <laughs> now, I did a couple of, like, he, during the week we would meet up and I would film him to do some, uh, you know, do some little video clips that we would play on the show. This guy had l total green teeth, like, like oh, I remember, remember, remember that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How bad that was? It looked like How, sewage. I was wondering about How that. How do you let yourself get to that point? That's what I want to know. That's what I... How do you let you... Like, okay, for example, the people that have, like, the massive, like, mountainous zits on their face, how do you... Sometimes... Oh. You, sometimes <laughs> you just gave her anxiety. Sometimes it's... I, uh, the stuff with the zits... I'm not talking about the small zits. I'm talking about the ones that, like... Yeah, some of, those people, some of those months. people have, like, serious skin issues with that. There's, like, no... The one that's, like, the size of their face? Like, the one yeah. you see on YouTube where yeah, they just like, go like this? Uh, it looks like cauliflower like, coming out. How do you, uh, how do, you well, do that? Do, you know what's worse? You know, like, the regular zits on the face, some of that stuff is uncontrollable, but there's no excuse for having, like, blackheads all over, like, your nose or your face. That, that's, like, like orange that's or gross. Think think no or to just smell there's bad. There's no excuse for that. No excuse for blackheads on the nose. No. People okay, don't know. Gonna, I have to. I have to keep that in mind. No excuse. No. People don't know what deodorant is. People don't know what soap is. People don't know what water and you know showering Personally, is. Personally, I feel that I should only have to entertain my hygiene if I have company. Oh, oh. get out of here! You're like, <laughs> a dude. You're like a guy. I shower once in the morning. If I'm home, then once in the afternoon, and I shower once at night. Cause I do. If I wake you up, do it three a day. If I'm waking up clean, I'm going to go to bed clean because if I'm going to gonna lay in my yeah. filth and soil and boil in my own bacteria. Soil and boil. boil. <laughs> soil and if, boil. You're, look, if your hair is dirty and, you're, and it's laying on your pillow and your face is just smothering it, you have no idea what is in your hair. Most of the she's, people... She's wow. in a medical class. Yeah, I was, I, you so, know. So, so she, yeah. knows, she knows about I, all she that. She said that with impact. Most of the, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people would actually not get so... Uh, extensions. Let me just say this really quick. A lot of girls who Talking wear to the camera and tell a lot them of them girls who wear extensions. Preach, baby. The bacteria that is in 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 your weave, you know, whatever you call it, <laughs> your fake eyebrows, your fake mustaches, whatever the fuck you're wearing on your face, your face, your fake mustache. All that bacteria is harbored in that shit that you're wearing. And, that's and like, if what you is wonder that? why you wake up with a sinus infection for like three weeks straight, then there's your answer, because you're wearing a rat's ass mustache. on your head. Weaves are the cause of sinus infections. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And really bad sex. And really bad... What? I'm sorry, but if you're going to be having sex with someone, at least you would want your hair to be real because yeah. when they go to reach through your scalp, they're going to pull out a fucking rat's ass. Oh, yeah, if you're doing ass. doggy style and you pull the girl's hair off, it's like, what just happened? Exactly. Does that actually happen? I it's know a happened. lot of people that wear those weaves. You know, like, you, like you, touch, you touch like the head and you can feel all like the, the, the pins. Especially the clips. Yeah, the clips. It feels weird. That's got to actually, whatever hair you do have that it's attached to. It, it rubs. Yeah, but it's, it's very bad. It has to literally be destroying that hair. Eventually, if you take it off, you're going to look like And then you have the same bitch. Stringy like, hair. Oh, my God. Why does my hair grow? I want my hair to be so long. And they dye it like six different colors in like a week. You kill it. Yeah. Like, this, yeah. like, neat, like Smurf blue and like Kermit the Frog green. Love it. Stick Tell us how you really feel, Valentina. I'm, I'm sorry. But I, I, there I, you go. I, I know, I'm like, I'm like, now I'm thinking, I'm like, I have the most effed up, like, shower routine. I'm crazy with it. I'm not pro-hygiene. Yeah, well, you uh -oh. should absolutely be pro-hygiene. No, because I feel like that's what this, that's how you get a sinus infection, by cleaning yourself, because you, you don't have, your immune system has no what? strength. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Taking tons of antibiotics. There are plenty of people who uh. <laughs> take, they douse themselves in antibiotics. You got a debate now. And... Yeah. I'm going, if, if I could say one thing, it would be wear sunscreen and don't clean yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't clean yourself. If you want, if That's you, old school. Yeah, no. Do you at least wipe your butt? Sometimes. Oh, oh you know you do. You don't totally didn't play. last week. What do you mean? I knew chicken. what you had for lunch last week. What did I have for lunch? You had some sort of Whatever was here. on the paper. Are you stuff? sniffing my butt? I can sniff it from here. I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, oh, but that's God. not going to be a skit. We're not sniffing each other's asses. I can't even believe that we have the craziest comments. I don't. On this show. I'll. I'll be honest. I don't wash my face. The more you scrub your face, the more oils you strip that are naturally there. And you know, obviously, it's you not don't as like healthy. not not wash your face. You do, but not. I don't use all these soaps. I use proactive and clean and clear and all that bullshit because obviously, it's literally going to dry your skin out to the point where 
your body's not even making any more oils. So what do you use? I actually, believe it or not, before I go into the shower, I take a little bit of avocado and I mash it up and I mix it with olive oil and I do like a small paste. What's that? But you don't That's wash it with like soap or you just... I, don't, I will never use soap on my face. Really? Nope. Do what, oh, I, do really what I do. I go, I go, this is, this is what I do. I go in the shower and I use a washcloth. A lot of people don't use washcloths. A lot of people just put soap on their hands. Like what do you, you put the soap I on I use that little squeeze. I have my own soap. I have my own soap. No, you're full of shit. He probably makes you, his own I soap. I know you do. You take, you take you like, smell it? you take Old Spice, you squirt it in your hand, and you rub it with your hand all over your body, right? I, I got the point. I have to put the, the soap on the, the luva pad on my back because I can't reach my back anymore. He definitely <laughs> uses like the three-in-one. Old Spice, like the shampoo conditioner. Shampoo bottle. Bottle. I do have a shampoo thing. I use, I, won't lie. I use man wash to do my whole body. Man wash? I call it man wash. I do, I use Sounds the, like uh, I wash my hair in Soul Glow. <laughs> no, I, oh I, come God. on. I, I use, he I use the, uh. take this. Have you ever let your Soul Glow, Brendan? What is the Soul Glow? You've never seen Coming to America? Yes. You said that you know, very you know, oddly. You the song? It's like, just let your soul. <laughs> come on. <laughs> You remember you that? the high notes, man. He said you we're not allowed to scream in the microphone. Oops. Anyway. I, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I didn't and have my uh, like a wine glass. That would have cracked. That definitely would have cracked. Remember my Mariah Carey? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll, give her, I'll give her a run for her money. Yeah, okay. You get, you get up there, man. You should hear me do Bohemian Rhapsody sometimes. No! The amount of times I've heard you sing that song just in my <laughs> in the car when I'm with you, I'm, I, I hate Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> just get out. The windows like almost break. That's funny. That is too. It's fun. a great karaoke song. Yeah, so that's that's my that's my whole ritual, man. I just use that that regular. I use Old Spice and I wash my whole body with Old Spice. There are my so head, many my everything. There are so many natural things that you can do. I'm, I'm not saying to be like a hippie freak and go out and eat like the sticks and stones and the woods and everything like that, but everyone rushes out to get all these different like healthcare products and all this shit. Just you can use like a, you know a regular deodorant from Walgreens that's like three bucks. You have to go out and unless of course you perspirate. Exorbitant amounts, and you need some like heavy duty clinical doctorship. But <laughs> there is a clinical, <laughs> yes, there's one that says clinical, yes, it, I'm, that's what I'm saying. She was like, Oh, you need that clinical. An shit. example <laughs> of when products don't work and something that you would never think to do works better mosquito bites. Everyone's got their sprays and shit. When I get bit, I'm, I don't remember how I learned this, but someone in like a summer camp years ago was explaining what you do is you take your own spit, you put it on the bite, and then you dump salt on it. No joke, gets rid of it in a few minutes. Because the enzymes from your saliva gets rid of it. Yeah. It pulls it right out. People there spraying each other and scratching for hours, and I'm like, I'm just spitting on my arm. Bumblebee sting, you use meat tenderizer. That you makes it. You literally make it wow. into a paste and you wipe it off. Yeah. I've been stung by a bee since I was a, a, a kid. I, I, I'm at a pool party. It was the last time. And I'll never forget it. It was oh. the worst. Because I, I really, I, I didn't know how to, I swam like shit. I really didn't know how to swim. <laughs> so everybody... They're horsing around, and they take a ball, and they throw it at the nest, a, a, a wasp's nest. <laughs> and they throw it at the nest, and these things just start just swarming all over the place. Mm -hmm. And they all go under the water. I, don't, I suck. I don't know how to go under the water. I'm like a kid. I'm like, I don't know. So I'm like up there, You're and all of a sudden, a thing it. comes by, and it, like, it latches onto my cheek, and it freaking st it sticks me in the side of my face. Oh. End, end of the pool party. I have to go in the house. It was like a whole big thing. They called my mother. I'm hysterical crying. My grandfather, when he was a little kid, he lived out in, uh, I guess it was Richmond Hill, out in, you know, near the city. And um, he was like six or seven years old, and he and his younger brother, they were playing with a hornet's nest. Oh, that sounds like L oh. Playing with it. <laughs> like, this, is, could this is good, because this can actually set up one of my other, my other clips right now. Really? It's, it's called, I have a clip called Bad Friends. And we all have, we all have, in our, I mean, we can go back in our, in our, past and oh, we all yeah. have that, that bad friend the one that gives you the bad advice just to see you like mess up or he's always plotting goes, against you plotting against you but always goes against like you know like we'll do something to make sure that you like you get screwed up i have a really bad friend. but come on you could you could jump it this <laughs> jump, it, it's a good ramp and the ramp's all fugazi it's ready Here, to you, you, you could pogo stick down the freeway on the ice it's, no all, you, bro. it's all you bro yeah it's all you just jump, it's okay. Just jump, just do it. Yeah, and it's Mikey. like they're, they're sitting there and they're like they're like cheering you on to like watch to you fail. Fuck. Yeah, it's yeah. hysterical. It's okay, you can fuck up. It's all right. I'm here for so you. So I have a clip. It's a, it's a little lengthy of a clip. It's That's okay. Not, not that bad. It's lengthy? a five minute clip. We like lengthy. Lengthy. It's. We like girthy too. But they like lengthy, lengthy, girthy. I love having girls in the show. It's and soul glow. Um, it's uh, it's it's called. <laughs> it's Found called. It. 
Right there, boom. Townden. Ow. Fist buddy. It's called Fucking rings. Bad Friends. Let's go to our Bad Friends uh, video. You ready? Why did you do that? That is art. <laughs> that is freaking art. Now drink it. Drink it. The visor's got to hit the ceiling. I am. <laughs> he needs a beer! Throw him a beer! Oh! Oh! Holy back we had to cut that clip a little short um only because Go. there's not much time left on the show so uh you know consuelo you have a shout out you want to do right yeah uh, uh speaking of sinus infections and bed sex i just want to say hi to my friend david paulus is watching today did you get my booty pop for david david gets a booty pop yeah <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that, that's a shout Wait, out how do that have to do with sinus infections yeah i have no idea me neither. Shaking your uh, ass random. releases an endorphin that takes the blood out of your body and out of your head, so it removes the sinus. Just, just, quick, just um, get out. I just got <laughs> quick shout out to uh, obviously um, one of my friends uh, that was on the show last week. He just met, messaged me, um, DJ French. It's good, uh, you know. I was to give a shout out to you. It's uh, one of my good friends, good guy, an amazing DJ. Um, also, um, I have a couple of uh, events coming up. Uh, www.bzari events that's b-z-a-r-r-y events.com that's the website i have uh, all the events listed up on there we have the dominican village uh, a couple of comedy nights going on there and i uh, got a couple of other things that you got to check out valentina thanks for coming on the show thank you for having me uh you have any shout outs i'm gonna tell your boyfriend uh oh, he's, 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 <laughs> tell, tell him your plot he's going to bed but uh just, yeah have a good night yeah, and she's going to wake you up when she gets home. <laughs> oh. No, he's already asleep. But I just wanted to make a shout-out to all the girls who can wash their face and still have their real eyebrows on their face. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Hair weaves. 
I want to give a shout out to uh, the ghost named Lester in my house that cooks eggs in the middle of the night. I'm very hungry right now, so when I come home, there better be some shit on the fucking oven. You got to get it. I need a cooking ghost. I mean, not a, a cooking ghost. I need a cleaning ghost. Can a we get like ghost. a Good cleaning luck. ghost? Or a sex ghost. A sex ghost. Well, every time that you yawn, you're giving a ghost a blowjob. <laughs> you don't even know. They could teabag you every time. You could be like sitting exactly. laying in bed yawning, and a ghost could be like teabag. I bet you get teabagged by ghosts all the time. Thanks. <laughs> they're probably, they're probably gonna have it. Why do you think his head is so shiny? That's what I have to. That's what I have to think about. I'm getting tea bags. His head's by, brighter by than my Casper. future. Oh my god! Wow, that's good. <laughs> good one. Put up, bump. That's a good one. I used to get my own. I used to say um, to people, I'm like, oh, if I put a turtleneck on, I look like a busted condom. <laughs> oh my god! That's a good one, right? I like that. You just need his the big head, line in the back of your head. His head is brighter than looking. My, your so head is brighter than my future. There you go. Okay. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Nice. Um, on that note, I'd like to uh, say thank you for watching another episode of this amazingly stupid show. Yay! <laughs> and this uh, moronic again, we got show. it's me, Jerry G. See, now you did it right at the there we go. Stuff. Do you not mess it up all the time? My bad. All right. Fuck. Again, Valentina, thank you for coming down. Thank you for having me. And Consuelo, quick, take us out with a booty pop, please. There you go. Do, boop, do, do, boop, do, 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 do. Look at the Valtina's like. <laughs> we got Consuelo Cyrus over here. I should bring my belly dancing costume next time. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. uh, a dance off. Da what a stupid show. A dance off. That's that awkward moment when the girl in the spandex is like, oh, is there a hole in my crotch? Oh, shit. Oh, you know? God. <laughs> oh, there's a stain. Easy, easy access? Oh, uh, easy access. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week, Keep Monday, 8, 8 p.m.